Hi everyone, this is Evan Rubin at the Language Acquisition Resource Center and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Class Pager in your foreign language classroom. This is another great mobile tool to bring to your classroom and uh, to send out mass text messages to your students and they'll be able to respond back to your text messages as the form of uh, as a poll or just question and answer. So let's take a look. I'm going to log in. I've already created an account. Uh, let's see here. There we are. I think it's better to use an EDU account for this one. And one uh, thing of warning um, about this program, it is free, but it will only allow you to create one classroom for free. So this might work for some and might not work for others, uh, but just to give you a heads up on that. But it's still a really cool tool if you're able to use it for at least one class or perhaps all your students together. So um, I've already created a class here. Um, and what I did was I just went to add a new classroom. And I gave it a name. And then in the classroom here, you'll see I have no students. What I need to do is add students. They need to register because it becomes sort of a group or sort of a class. So you go to add students and this page will appear where it gives the instructions to the students how they register. So I am going to register really quickly. I'm going to go to my um, text messaging on my phone and I'm going to compose a message and I'm going to put that phone number in 206-866-6284 and in the body I'm going to put that at CLTA, oops, spell check, don't like that sometimes, CLTA 12, and I'm going to send it. So I'm registering for the class right now. I've already uh, registered before, so the system already knows my name. So it's already going to uh, have the name in, in, in here. So you can hear my phone uh, give a little ding and I will refresh this and you'll be able to see my name now, Ruben, or my last name, Ruben. Uh, if it's your first time registering for a class in Class Pager, you'll need to text in your name to create uh, an account. Well, another great feature about this is uh, the privacy, um, it won't share uh, phone numbers uh, with the teachers or the other students. So. Uh, the teacher doesn't know the student's phone number, but the teacher is still able to text the students. Um, so a great privacy feature there. So I'm going to go back here. And now I'm in my room, um, my class. I have one student, me. Um, but if you attend one of my presentations, we're all going to sign up and I'm going to send out a bunch of text messages. So I'm going to send out a text message um, at homework do tomorrow exclamation point um, you can do this in the foreign language uh, you can um, you know make it as lengthy as you want some more description I'm just gonna keep it like that and it takes just a couple of seconds and you'll hear my cell phone and I'll receive that and in addition you can broadcast a reminder or you can run a poll so there it is and now I'm going to write back homework due tomorrow and I'm going to write thanks teacher in response and in just a few seconds I'll refresh this page and you'll see kind of like I did down here as um, some prior tests that's a good a, a good idea is to test out the system if it's your first time using it go ahead create an account create a class and test it out Alexa, uh, refresh it. You know, play around with it. See what happens. There it is. Thanks, teacher. So I can see that Ruben um, responded to this text as uh, homework is due. So if students have questions about the homework or when it's due, they can just uh, text back. Uh, you can see that I've done some polls down here, and when people respond, this is what it looks like. Uh, it creates this graph. Unfortunately, someone wrote yes, period, and yes, and so those are two different, but. Anyways, this works really well. It's really quick and it's and there's great privacy features. So I encourage you to use mobile phones in your classroom, get students motivated, and give this uh, class pager a test and see if this works for you. Take care.